One issue with MongoDB is that when we develop for MongoDB, we have to use MongoDB-specific libraries, and this creates some degree of lock-in. FerritDB is this MongoDB alternative that's written in Golag. It implements the MongoDB wire protocol, so any libraries and tools built for MongoDB should work with FerritDB. FerritDB, it's implemented as a stateless proxy. So what this means is that it doesn't do any storage itself, but instead it translates the request to one of its supported backends. In this video, we're going to be using what I think is the most mature backend for FerritDB, which is PostgreSQL. So the aim of the video today is to look at whether FerritDB plays nicely enough with Morphia. So Morphia, for those who don't know, is a popular object document mapping library for Java. I should note before we start that full compatibility with MongoDB isn't a goal of FerritDB. They even state on their website that their goal is to just implement the most commonly used features of MongoDB. The easiest way to get up and running with FerritDB is using Docker Compose. You can download the Docker Compose YAML file from the FerritDB documentation. So now that FerritDB is running, let's see whether we can use it together with Morphia. Morphia's job is to map instances of entity classes to collections in MongoDB. So we will need to define an entity class. I've already done that. I've created an entity class called product. So you can see here, there is a class with four properties. And I've also defined an index on the name field. So now we're ready to write some code. Make sure that you are using at least Morphia version 2.3 or above. So let's import the packages that we'll be using. And now let's connect to the database. Admin admin here is the password for PostgreSQL because FerritDB does not have its own authentication layer. Instead, it just reuses the authentication layer of the storage backend. So next, let's map the packages and create the indexes. Let's create a product and let's save it to the database. So we're creating an apples product. Each apple is $1 and there are 20 apples, and apples is in the fruits category. So now let's have a look at how this apples record looks like in the database. So let's create another terminal window, and let's try to access the FerritDB PostgreSQL database. That's the record that we just created. And you remember when we defined the entity class, we defined an index on the name field. Let's create a few more product objects and save them to the database so that we can test out a few more Morphia features. Just now we saved four objects to the database, so let's verify that there are for objects in the database. And let's retrieve those four objects from the database. Let's test deletion. Now let's test querying. Let's try to find a product with the name apples. Let's try to find the products in the category vegetables. So we deleted the onions object earlier, so that's why we only see one. So let's add back the onions object. 
And now let's see how many are in the vegetables category. Finally, let's look at a simple example using the aggregation framework. What we want to do here is we want to find the total quantity of products that we have in each product category. So let's import the additional packages that we need. And now let's try running the aggregation. That's pretty much what I wanted to show in this video. I basically just wanted to put FerritDB's MongoDB compatibility through its paces using Morphia, and so far it looks pretty usable.